In this week's You Can Project, we're going to build the simplest motion-activated alcohol and soap dispenser. From Italy this evening, it just gets worse. The death toll now worse than China, 427 deaths in just the past 24 hours. Weeks after quarantine, it's really cool to find some kids using Arduinos to build a hands-free alcohol dispenser. Eventually, a friend of mine from Facebook, Sir Martin Miranda, built a much more refined version of the Arduino project. I then took on the challenge to build a low-cost version without using an Arduino. For this project, you'll be needing a DC water pump, which you can buy online for just less than $2. You'll also need some aquarium tubing. In my case, I still had some medical tubes from a previous project. For the electronics, you'll need a proximity sensor module which you can buy for a dollar, a TIP32C PNP transistor, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, some wires, and an extra USB cable. Yes, the cheap cables that come with your power bank for free. For the container, I recycle the glass jar that used to contain coffee. To give your project a cleaner look, you might want to peel that label. Use a cloth and a few drops of pure acetone or hand wash alcohol to rub it off. You'll only need a short segment of tubing, so cut it off using your scissors. Then you'll have to stretch and force fit the other end of the tube to your water pump. To prevent the tube from slipping off, use a zip tie to fasten it in place. Grab your hand drill and drill a hole for your wire and your tubing. Then insert the other end of the tubing through the cap. Same goes to your pump's wire. And now your pump is ready. To prevent your tube from sagging, you might want to insert a bendable wire inside that tube. You can use some copper wire or some chicken wires. This way you can adjust the position of your nozzle. Use your hot glue gun to mount the proximity sensor in place. With a few drops of super glue, you can mount your transistor on your container's lid. It's very unlikely for the transistor to heat up in this setup. Here's a simplified diagram for the wiring. Start by soldering the 1 kilo ohm resistor across the transistor's base to the proximity sensor's digital output. Then the transistor's emitter to the VCC pin of the sensor. Then solder the negative wire of your pump to the ground pin of your sensor. For delivering power to the project, I'm repurposing an old USB cable. You can do that by cutting the other end of the cable and stripping the red and the black wires. The red wire of the USB cable goes to the VCC pin and the black wire goes to the ground pin of the sensor. Once you're confident with your circuit, you can cover it with a blob of hot glue to prevent it from short-circuiting in the long run. This project can also dispense viscous liquids like soap, but I built this project specifically for dispensing isopropyl alcohol. To reduce the project's cost and complexity, I decided to get power from a USB power source. You can plug this project on a USB charger, or if you want to make it portable, a power bank can supply power to it for weeks. After connecting it to a power source, the power indicator should light up. The other LED on the other hand indicates if an object has been detected. The proximity sensor comes with a screw adjustment knob for adjusting the threshold distance for detection. To limit the flow of liquid, you can savage the tip of a dried out pen and use it as a nozzle for your dispenser's outlet. And that's how you build the simplest automated alcohol dispenser without using an Arduino. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.